guys need to stay safe, very, very safe out there because the things which are happening. Let me tell you about my experience with this. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. If you do not know who I am, then hello, my name is Ellen. And please view, subscribe, share, comment. Yes, this is a story time about my experience with this. Yes, I have never been, you know, I've never even seen a thief before. I mean, just in school, someone has stolen this, someone has stolen that, but I'm talking about thief, thief. Thief, crown four. I had never seen some before. If okay on TV, yeah, fine. But I say face to face like this, a thief me, human being is like I had never seen some before. So somewhere around April May, I was working in a TV station by then. Um, I was a journalist then, and so it was in the evening around. 7 30 to 8 and i closed very late so i had to hurry up and where i, I usually stand and wait for car that day i don't know if because it was a holiday or what you know journalists we work two four seven holiday or seven or you have to work yes i don't know if because it was a holiday or, or what can you believe no car i was saying a casua no casua car casua car was passing that's the reason that i even kept long because i went to stand there somewhere at seven o'clock in the evening so i decided that ah, if there is no kasaka coming then you see there is a main road close close there you see i was at a corner but cars pass there but on the main road is just like a four or five minutes walk i will get car obviously so let me walk there and I was alone on that day. If we were like three, four, like I'll just tell them, let's go. But because I was alone and I wasn't getting car, I have to get home early. I was hungry. I was tired. I needed rest. So I had to hurry up. And then the the moment I started going, then I heard my name, Ellen, Ellen. It was, let me say, my senior. He also works at that place. So... He, he called me that, Ellen, why are you going alone like that? And I was like, I can't get car. And the only cars passing are Kaneshi Circle. And I, those around that area, you know that when you board car, you have to get down at Kaneshi or Circle and then board another car. The fare will be double. Me too, I was just doing my internship by then. I wasn't being paid. My parents are the one giving me money, supporting me that time. So, I mean... How, how can I just waste the little money I'm getting? Already, I wanted to do some school, so like, why should I just waste the little money I'm getting? So, I told him my story that this and this and that, I'm not getting car. He was like, no, wait. Let's stand here, you get car. He was going to buy something, but because it was a holiday, he didn't get, that's why he helped me. Even though, 30 minutes time, he had to also start his program. Let's wait till you get car. And then, we waited for some minutes, car wasn't coming, then he was like, no, let's go to the roadside. He too, he has escorted me and a friend before, so he knew the situation, let's go to the roadside. And when we were going to the roadside, I was walking um, at the side, let's say at the side, and he was walking at this, I was closer to the roadside then. And then he said, no, yeah, lady, I'm walking with you, if anything happens, it's not good, just come to my right side, and he went there. And then he being a gentleman, he held my handbag. And then he was holding a handbag at his left side. You know, it's it's a road side that I mean cars and motors are passing. So our mind wasn't on it that some people were observing us. Hmm. Then when we started walking, chatting, we heard a motor coming from behind. But you know, we were just thinking, say, eh, hey, quiet, and the motor is passing. She passed his way. Then, uh, boom, they collected the bag. But luckily, this man was holding the bag very, very firm. So he, he pulled it. 
because they were on a motto, they didn't want to fall, so they had to leave it. Before he shouted and you see some security men around were like, ah, this area there, this area there, this area there. I was, I was safe. I was wearing a new watch that day. That watch got torn because of the pressure. You see, he was holding my hand, so it got torn. I was like this. I was lost. The thing happened in a flash, like magic. Boom. Now it has happened. That day, I, I don't even know what to say. I was, I was very, very, because the only thing I had inside was just a little extra money and my fare. And I had not even bought one car that I would say the rest are walk home. The place I'm going to is very far. If they have stolen, in fact, if they have taken the, the phone, I wasn't working. How would I get, my everything was in the bag. I feel like I'm even exaggerating, but it's the truth. And it happens a lot these days. There, there are um, a lot of people, even when you're in a car holding your phone, you just take the phone and just run. It happens a lot. So I just want to make, I felt like making this video to create awareness. Please be safe. Be very, very, very safe. Because the things that are happening, if you have your 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 important thing in your bag or anything someone can it happens a lot not even in my country i'm sure it happens in other countries so guys please be safe be, <laughs> be safe be very very careful please 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 thank you very much for listening and watching this video you know i mean if you made it to the end then god bless you and also i i, I pray that fo will get long life to keep helping people i mean the person who helped me god bless him a lot god bless him and very very much and please if you made it to the end please and if you enjoyed this video and you think i created a good awareness then please like subscribe share tell your friends come and listen to advice okay i beg you thank you very much for watching <laughs>